Um, on another note, uh, these pro proclaimed alien abductions when people are asleep by the thousands all around the world. That's yeah. what I investigated with a UFO group about 20 years ago, feeding another addiction of mine. <laughs> um, and I'm just wondering what your take is on that. Is it possibly that the spirit is projecting another figure at them, but there is some overcloaking going on and some nasty stuff? Well, unfortunately, a lot of the spirits who do these kind of things are in a very dark state themselves, and their body is so um, difficult to maintain, they don't actually maintain what you would classify as a humanoid body to look at. And so, so many spirits in the sleep state, or spirits who have already passed that are already very dark, are actually in this state where, where their bodies look quite alien. And the body will look quite alien based on different emotional injuries that they have. So if they have an emotional injury of the intellect, and sometimes the, the head will be much larger or smaller, depending on what the emotional injury is and so forth, of their spirit body. Does that make sense? And then as they deal with these emotions, it all goes back to a normal body that they would have had when they were in their 20s on the earth around about, and they look very similar to that. But unfortunately, what happens is that many of them are in a very dark state, and every time a person goes to sleep, they grab them, torture them, do whatever they like with them, and then when they go back awake, everyone thinks they've been abducted by aliens. And you can be pulled out of your, if you're, if you're willing, you, you're a willing participant through fear, if you can actually be pulled out of your awake state and into the sleep state as well by a spirit. So you can actually be driving along in a car and all of a sudden not be there, for example, right? Because you're in the sleep state right. doing things because of the, of the draw or pull that you have towards that. So if I've had a sleep where I've got my rocks off with a beautiful female alien, <laughs> what's happening there? It's highly likely that it's a spirit um, who um, is engaged sexually with you. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Highly likely there's a spirit who's engaged sexually with you in your sleep state and there's been some, you know, orgasmic experience as a result of that and, uh, and there's some kind of attraction going on there between the two of you. And on another note, I've met some friends who have proclaimed to be celibate and they don't seem to have a spiritual faith why they've chosen to do that. Yep. Could they be these people that are getting their rocks off at night while they're asleep so they don't need any action during the day? Or? It's possible, but it's also the opposite is possible where they get overcloaked by men who have been monks in their life or whatever else and they're trying to force celibacy upon them. So, so it's not their actual personal choice, but rather it's a spirit overcloaking them in their, in their awake state, a spirit overcloaking them and causing them to be celibate. In a, and in fact, some spirits even go to the extent of detuning. They, they, because of the openness of different areas of our body energetically, they can detune the sexual organs and their responses. So you can actually make a person, if you're a spirit, and you have a desire to, and the injury, the person on the earth has an injury in that regard, you can actually make the person almost be completely detuned from any sexual desire at all. Great, thanks. Yeah. Most of us have no idea how much spirit influence we're under. I keep saying this to you, you still don't understand yet, but you will get there. <laughs>